Pastry. My name is Kaylee and I'm the pastry chef here. Today we'll be making bunny butt cupcakes. Great for our Easter. To make these bunny butt cupcakes, you will need a cupcake, vanilla or chocolate, any of your choice, some green buttercream, we use Swiss spring buttercream here, white buttercream, I have some shredded coconut dyed green. To achieve this, you just need some flakes of coconut, a little bit of green gel food coloring, mix it up, and put it out on a sheet tray to let it dry. You'll need some sanding sugar. This is just a very coarse sugar, a little bit different than granulated. Some heart sprinkles. Some cut up pieces of parchment paper and a rose nail. If you don't have parchment paper or rose nail at home, you can come on down here to the bakery and we have that here for you for purchase. Um, for a rose nail, we typically use this to pipe roses. It helps so that we can move this 360 to go all the way around. For this, this is going to be how we make our little bunny tail part of the bunny bud. Um, and I will get to that in one minute. So to start, you just want to take your cupcake and I have green frosting here to act as the background of the grass. So I have a small round tip here. Um, what you can also do is use a Ziploc bag and cut the corner of it off to use instead. So I'm going to just go around and around like so. Here's an offset spatula. So we use this to help smooth. Um, and the reason why we use this instead of just a straight spatula is so that your finger is not going through it when you're going back and forth. So I just like to just spread it around just to get a nice, even, smooth surface. And this is going to act as our glue for the shredded coconut flakes, which we'll add on next. So here we have our base, and then we're just going to dunk it right into the shredded coconut. So here we have our grass background. So now we're going to set this cupcake to the side and we're going to move on to the little bunny tail part. So for this, you'll need the rose nail, like we said. So this is just going to help us um, pipe it into our hand rather than piping it onto the table. So to use this, I have a piping bag fitted with a small tip. This is a number 10 tip. So it's a little bit smaller, if you can see, than our one for the green. So you'll just want to put a little bit down to act as the glue for the parchment square. Then I'll take one, stick it onto my rose nail, and then I am just going to pipe right in the center, holding it about a quarter of an inch away, squeezing, 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 stop, and pulling away. And then this is where we take our sanding sugar, and then you're just going to dip it right in. Very similar to how we did the grass. Now you have the little bunny tail. And then you're just going to want to take this off. This is why we use the parchment paper to take it right off. And you can put this on a sheet tray and then pop this into the freezer and it'll get nice and hard so you're able to remove it from the parchment square. All right, now moving on to our actual bunny body. Again, we're going to use the same exact piping tip, the number 10 in the piping bag. So I'm just going to, again, about a quarter of an inch away, just squeezing, 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 making his little body. You can make it as big or small as you want. I think that's good enough. And then for the little feet, I like to pipe right here at an angle. So just a little bit, just to get him some little feet. And then to make the paws, this is where I use the heart-shaped sprinkles. Um, and then just another technique is I'm using some tweezers. So you don't need as big as these tweezers. You can just go to the dollar store, get some little tweezers that you would use for yourself and 
It makes it really easy to pick up the sprinkles rather than just using your fingers. And I like to put the heart upside down. I think that makes it extra cute. are going to be attaching the bunny tail. All right, and now to finish off our bunny, we're going to add our little bunny tail. So you can see it's been in the freezer. It only takes about five to 10 minutes. You're just going to want to peel it off the parchment like so, and you can place it anywhere. I just like to place it right in the middle here, squish it down to attach it, and there you go. You have a bunny butt cupcake. Thank you so much for joining us for today's video. We are open on Easter 7 to 11. So you can come on down, you can find these cupcakes in our bakery case. This is such a fun activity for you to do with the kids at home, and I hope you enjoy. We look forward to seeing you here at Amy Bakery, located at 1254 Main Street in Osterville, Massachusetts. Thanks so much.